Greetings and welcome to my first ever video review. Now I have reviewed things before but that's always been on text. Which it's a bit hard to say certain things via text. It's better to use my mouth. Now for those of you who were expecting me to do the Action Max console, the craptastic Action Max console, unfortunately, I just will show you, I actually give it a go the other night and the video is kind of stuck in the machine. As you can see, person eject, nothing. So I'll have to detox it somehow. Kind of cast a kind of detox spell on it or something. Or I'll probably take it apart with a screwdriver and take it out that way. You know, the old fashioned way, which is usually better. Anyway, enough of that. Action Max is for another time. This time, what I'm going to be reviewing is this game, Sky Kid. Now, I'm reviewing this game because. I'm nostalgic about it. I like it. It's a simple game, but I enjoy playing it. So I'm not really going to tell you stuff that you can read on Wikipedia. I'll put a link down the bottom of the screen or somewhere where there's space. So just go there. Anyway, onto the game. As you can see, you're given a mission. The mission is bomb targets. Pretty simple. So take off. You shoot the. You shoot this. You shoot. It. It's one of those sh scrolling shooters, only in a little biplane, you know, nice little cartoony biplane. Now, at every half point, uh, halfway point on the game, you have to pick up this bomb thing here. I just call it a neg with a tail. And you've got to try and bomb the base dead in the centre, like that. Now, here's a nice little touch. Shoot the graves. I just pop out really... And that's your first stage done. Now, I've never actually completed the game itself because I've always kind of failed halfway through. But one day I will actually sit down and play it for hours. And as you can see, the target on the stage two has changed into some kind of evil battleship. Now, you've got two buttons on this, actually. You've got your standard shoot button. You know, every, every shooting game has to have a shoot button. Otherwise, you wouldn't exactly get anywhere. It'd be like a hippie game. You see, shooting all these planes, you're getting planes coming up from behind. Dirty buggers. So, the other button does that. As you see, as you see I mistimed that completely. The other button does the loop, the loop. Just going around, shooting the crap out of anything that's on the sky, which is not much because it's an old, older game. More tanks, more planes, and they're coming up from behind. And quickly, there you go. No, I wouldn't say expertly timed because it's not expertly timed because it's me playing and I'm shit. Pick up the bomb. Don't know why I was shooting. Now you see, once you've got the bomb, you can't do the loop. The loop, the loop button is the bomb button, and I've just been shot with a bomb. Target missed completely, I completely fail. Hey, see, here's another thing. Shooter cheerleaders, they turn into kind of poo. Yes. And land. Basically, every stage is like this. It just keeps going on and on until the end, which is like every game. Anyway, that basically wraps up my review of this game. I hope you, can, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed playing this over the years, so anyway, look forward to the next review, which will probably end up being the Action Max. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.